Welcome back to our channel. My name is Michael. I'm Elizabeth. And we are here to go ahead and show you the most scrumptious air fried potatoes. More like a roasted potato, but in the air fryer, and it's gonna be wonderful. We do this almost every week. And they're gonna be crispy and crunchy, and you guys are gonna love them. We're also gonna take you guys along and show you how we prep our potatoes for the week. We steam them, and get them ready for the week, so they're all ready when it's time for dinner or for a quick lunch. So stay with us, we'll be right back, we'll get started. All right, so the first thing we have our Instant Pot and you have your potatoes. So what we're gonna do is take this, you wash the potatoes and you scrub them and make sure everything's clean. Take everything, any of those little eyes that are growing a sprout or anything, just pop them right off. We're gonna open up our Instant Pot. So we added this steamer basket. We are gonna put one cup of water in the bottom. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and take the potatoes, make sure they are on the steamer basket. Go ahead and take the lid and you have to put it on the correct way. If you already have a steamer instant pot, you know what I'm talking about. You put it on, twist it, make sure the vent is up. We're gonna go pressure cook. Take the warm off. We're gonna go 15 minutes, actually 14, and we are gonna put it on, everything's right, so it should be ready to go. It'll turn itself on automatically. So if you don't have, a, if you don't have an Instant Pot like this, first of all, I would suggest get one. It's, it's an incredible machine. If not, you can always boil it on the top of the stove just do not get it too mushy where you can't touch it. It has to be firm still and we'll cut it up at that point. All right, so this has been on for 15 minutes. We let it sit for a minute. I'm gonna move it out here and we are gonna flip this switch so the, the vent will happen. You don't wanna open it now because it'll blow everywhere. By the way, you wanna make sure that this red button right here is not out here it would be up here it's not safe if it's in it is safe so this is flipped and this is flipped and now we're gonna open up and you have some beautiful potatoes <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and take these uh hot potatoes so beware they're hot so you use your tongs we'll take them out they are par cooked so what we're gonna do later is actually cut them in pieces and put them in the air fryer they will go a lot quicker and a lot more toasty so we made a lot of potatoes. This is not gonna all be in the air fryer. Some of this is for us. So we just showed you how to actually make your potatoes for the week. Yes, you wanna go ahead and let this cool before you disassemble it and wash it. So just set this aside and then we'll go from here. Michael steamed off the potatoes, so now we're gonna take three of those potatoes and we're going to cut them into about one inch cubes. And because these are the Yukon Gold potatoes, you don't really have to peel them. We don't peel them, even when we eat them, just steam for the week. So I'm just gonna take them, they're still a little bit warm, but I'm gonna take my good knife here. Michael bought this coolest knife recently. It's a Mueller cleaver, and I have fallen in love with this thing. I'll put a link in the description down below, but you guys, this is an amazing and not expensive knife, not expensive at all. I'm just gonna go through this potato one more time and cut it into about one inch-ish cubes. And you can see these are nice and soft. They're probably good and fork tender, which is about where you want them because once you've steamed the potatoes and you get them ready to go into the air fryer, because they've been steamed, they just take the air fryer heat so much better and they crisp up and they get crunchy and they're so good. We're just gonna keep cutting these in quarters. We've prepped the potatoes, but I was gonna tell you guys, the recipe I'm linking down below is gonna be for the full three pounds of potatoes that we steamed. For today, I'm just gonna make one layer in my air fryer. Just This is gonna be a serving for one, maybe two people. So we're just gonna cut down the amount of ingredients that we're gonna go in with, and I'll show you guys what we do here. Okay, we're going in with one and a half to maybe two tablespoons of good olive oil. Just gonna pour that over these. And it's important that you 
put the oil on first because it's going to help all the other ingredients cling to the potatoes. So I'm just going to stir this really good just to kind of get that oil all over them. And try not to break the potatoes up. They are <laughs> soft. Yeah, these are pretty soft, um, but they still taste great. And I've got some, I've got about a teaspoon of Kinder's, the blend, a teaspoon of onion powder, a teaspoon of garlic powder, half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of black pepper. I'm going to put this all over the potatoes. And again, we're going to stir very well to make sure the potatoes get coated with all that tasty goodness. We are going to place the coated potatoes in one single layer in our air fryer basket. Go in, make sure we get, oops, sorry about that. Make sure we get these in as much of a single layer as we can because if you don't get them spread out into a single layer, they will do nothing more than probably steam in here and they won't turn out as good. So you can see we've got them all kind of spaced out really good. And it's good to take an extra minute just to make sure you get all these uh, spread out like this because the end result will turn out much better. And I'm just going to tell you guys also, we don't typically preheat our air fryer for these. Just the couple of extra minutes that it gives, it just it makes them really good and crispy. So we're going to go in at about 400 degrees for about 8 to 10 minutes. So I'm just going to click air fry. And then I'm going to go time. I'm going to start with 8 minutes and see how it looks. Our temperature is at 400 degrees. I'm going to press start and we'll let the Instant Pot air fryer do its thing. This is a great air fryer. I think I've told you guys this before. We've had a couple of other brands. They are nowhere as good. This one is an amazing, amazing product, and I'll put a link down in the description below. Sadie, are you resting? Are you gonna help us with the food? All right, so we're, it's halfway through now, and it's gonna ask us to turn the food over. Let's check it out. Wow. Wow, it's beautiful. We're gonna do this. Shake it up, put it back in, let it go for another four minutes. We'll be right back. The air fryer just stopped. If you guys want to come in and take a nice look at these. Oh my goodness, how beautiful. Oh, wow. And they are crispy. You can hear the, the sizzle. You guys can hear that. Oh my goodness, and it smells heavenly in here. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to take these out of here, plate them up, and we're going to do a taste test. Be right back. Okay, you guys, look at how beautiful these are. They are hot out of the air fryer and just crispy and gorgeous. I just put a little green onion as a garnish on there. Feel free to do that however you want to. But now it is time for a taste test, and I'm so excited. Mm -mm. This smells so good. I just can't wait to, to try one. Whoa, I can hear the crunch from here. <laughs> It's so good. The garlic, mm. Mm. the garlic, the garlic, the garlic is so good. Salty, it's crispy, crunchy. Mm. Oh, it's so good. You guys have got to try this. One more. Hold on, it's my turn. <laughs> Your turn, babe. All right, my turn. Oh. Um. <laughs> Gosh. I told you. They're crispy. Mm. If you could eat this by itself. That it'd could be a, be a great meal. meal. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Mm. Unbelievable. I can't believe how good they came out. And they come out like this every time you make them. This is so good. Mm. We are so glad you joined us today. You mm -hmm. guys have got to make these. They are just incredible. I can't tell you how crunchy and mm -hmm. tasteful they are. It would go great as a side dish on anything. But we thank you guys for stopping by today again, and we're so happy you joined us today. We hope you guys will make this. Yes. And if you haven't yet joined our YouTube channel, please do so, Living the Alley Way. Mm -hmm. And if you like this video today, please give it a thumbs up because it really does help out our channel. Be sure to hit that notification bell mm -hmm. so you'll know every time we come out with a new video. And we just hope everybody's staying safe and doing well and having a great week. And we will see you guys on the next video. Bye. Bye.